Hey everybody, welcome back to Art a la carte. And this episode, I'm going to show you how to draw an ostrich. Yes, a very fun bird to draw, and it only uses just a couple basic shapes. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the basic body of the ostrich, which I'm going to use a oval shape on its side. So I'm going to go ahead and put my oval shape in here. And you will notice that when I go to draw my circles or my shapes, I fake draw it first. You'll see my hand moving like this, and then I will all of a sudden begin to apply a little pressure and you'll see that shape just begin to grow and it's messy, but that's how I get my circles and my shapes. So for those of you who have a hard time drawing those perfect circles, try that technique and it takes a little practice. But here I have my oval shape and from this shape I'm going to bring up an S curve. So it's going to start here and it's going to loop forward and then back. So it makes kind of this really very narrow S shape right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in my legs. I'm gonna have my ostrich running. I'm gonna have one leg coming back. I'm gonna put a joint circle here where it bends and then have it coming down, maybe out a little bit further. We'll push it out a little bit further. See how I did that? I don't worry about erasing. I just, you draw fast and then you worry about erasing later. So bring this back, joint down and a little foot right here. And then we have this one coming this way, bend it and have it coming forward and bending down with its feet. So if you just simplify your legs by just putting in little um, sticks for it, it just really helps to be able to think about that shape. So we have the legs and we have the neck. I'm gonna just put just like a little tuft here for where the tail feathers are gonna be and kind of a ovally shape there for the upper wing. Now the legs themselves have, I mean, this is the bird to eat on Thanksgiving because check out this drumstick has this muscular upper leg, which then works its way back to that kind of back leg bend, and then gets really scrawny. But that, that is a drumstick right there. <laughs> and then we're gonna come up here. I'm gonna put the head in. So for the head, I'm gonna draw another, kind of not really oval shape, more of a circle shape. And I'm gonna draw a very horizontal line. I don't want it looking down or up. When they're running, they have just kind of this really straight on look to life. And the beak, this is it's gonna come out a little bit further for the beak, and the beak rises up just a little bit until it reaches the circle where the head is, and then it really goes up and around. And then this bottom part comes in just a little bit, but it really angles down. This is a lot of really loose skin. This helps them as they swallow things. And then of course I'm going to thicken up my neck because her neck isn't that skinny. But it's not super th thick either. Just like so. And then put a big ost ostrich eye right there. Which is a circle. <laughs> Maybe with a little bit of a lid to it. There we go. And they don't have, like, they have, like, a little ostrich head fuzz, but really not a lot of feathers on their head. They're kind of a funny-looking bird. So here we have our ostrich. It's blocked in. Now it's time to kind of clean up the drawing and finish up the detail line work. So I'm going to take my gum eraser, which is just this really elastic -y eraser. And I, you can find these in any art store and a lot of times in craft stores and anything that has any kind of art section, usually you'll have a gum eraser. But if you can't find it where you live, check online, you might be able to find it there. Also called it called a kneaded eraser. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to kind of clean up my drawing a little bit. Nice thing about these is you can really push these into the shape that you need them to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back in and just kind of finalize my lines that I want. And the back is really kind of a smoothed arch. And the feathers, I'm just going to use kind of just this sweeping motion here, kind of a cloud shape. And same thing for the, for the back wing. And they have this really great white tip, um, kind of white feathers on their back tail, and kind of white tips to their wings. So you can kind of just emphasize that out. And then they have, <laughs> they're kind of bald on the underside of them. So... Um, yeah, they look like my chickens when they molt. <laughs> my chickens turn into little baby ostriches. 
because their their legs have really no feathers on them and the underside of their bodies don't have a lot of feathers on them and maybe at different times of the year maybe like chickens they have more feathers but I always seem to see them and they don't have feathers they look a little lacking in the feather department But I do know not to pick a fight with an ostrich. They can be quite aggressive with their their kicking. Them and kangaroos. Now they have these great bird, gigantic bird feet. So there we go. Okay, now I'm going to use the side of my pencil. I'm going to shade in the black fur and I'm going to leave the white fur. I'm going to shade in the black feathers. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to bring up just a little bit of the feathers up the neck, but not too far up. Just a little bit. Once you have the feathers all um, shaded in, you can just go really lightly, adding just a very light amount of pressure, and can shade in a little bit of the legs and neck as well. a little bit of shading just below him and I'm not having the shadow touch touch him right now because he's in mid stride so it looked like he's bounding across the land and I mean you could add some fun background um, however you want to do it I'll put some mountains in the background here he's open. he's on the open plains so maybe a little bit of grass I don't know <laughs> But you could have a lot of fun with your ostrich. So, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, put a smile on your face as you draw along with me. And I would love to see any pictures that you draw. So make sure to post them on my Facebook page. And you can find the links to, to Facebook and Instagram um, in the description box below. If you have a favorite bird, let me know about it. Leave that in the comments below. Do you like ostriches? Are you a chicken person? Do you like parakeets, falcons, hawks, owls, turkeys, buzzards? cans, whatever. Let me know what your favorite bird is in the description box below. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.